Hey, Scorpio, I'm back to do your love reading. I hope it resonates for you, Scorpio. Take what you need and leave the rest. It's timeless. So whenever you see it, I hope it resonates. Spirit, guides, and angels, give me a clear and concise love reading for the Scorpio. Very soon. Clearly decide where you want so it comes to you now, Scorpio. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And I have let go of control issues, okay? So very soon, the universe wants you to decide, to decide what you want to do. Um, there's something that you need to pay attention to the red flags for. Maybe let go of control issues. Um, passion. Allow your heart to sing with joy. Children, uh-huh. Retreat. The universe is saying in a relationship right now, you're going through something negative in a relationship with someone, or this is the past, or it could be future energy. The universe wants you to pay attention to the red flags. You are involved with this person because you have you probably have children with this person. You still care about this person. You still have passion for this person. You probably still sleep with this person. This person is controlling. <clears throat> this person is negative. This person doesn't treat you the way you should be treated. The universe is saying, Pay attention to the red flags. You see the way this person is treating you. It's time for you to retreat. It's time for you to let this person go. You need to make your mind up really, really quick about this. Clearly decide, Scorpio, what you want in your love life so it comes to you now. You don't want to be in, in, a, in a toxic relationship with somebody who's uh, berating you, who's not there for you, spending more time out with family and friends and shooting the breeze instead of being at home loving you the right way. Let it go. Don't feel obligated to this person if you have a child with this person or if you're pregnant by this with this person's child. You can still live your life without them in your life, okay? Retreat. It's time for you to let it go. Look, it's time for you to let it go. And what card did I get? Free yourself. You, st you saw me shuffle. Free yourself. It's time to take control of your life. Let it go. And you have to, you have to get out of this. You have to get out of this sooner than later. Pay attention to the red flags. Very soon. You need to end this. This person is too controlling. Are you trying to be in control and stay in a relationship or an environment that, that no longer serves you? Let it go. Free yourself. I mean, really? What else is going on for this relationship here? Engagement here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Uh, you may want to be married to this person because you love this person. The universe is saying separate. Look, religious factors here. I don't always focus on religious factors here, but this universe is saying, this card is saying here is, you know you need to step away from this person. Look inside yourself. Look at your soul. Look at your conscience. Look at your intuition. Your intuition is telling you, I need to, I need to separate myself from this person. The universe is saying, I don't need to marry this person. This person is too controlling. This person is an alcoholic. This person is abusive. This person is, is a cheater. I know that I don't need to marry this person. I know that I don't need to be in a relationship with this person. This person is toxic. This person is bringing me down. Don't do it. Don't engage into your into a relationship with this person here. Don't don't get um, closer to this person. No, don't get closer because you're close enough to this person. Walk away from this person. Don't allow yourself to marry into this person's life because he's going to try to control you for the rest of your life. He or she, okay? The universe is telling you to let go. I don't know what's holding you back. Obligation because you track, you share children with somebody. But you need to let it go. What's going to happen with Scorpio and his love reading here? For somebody they need to let go of. What's going on with Scorpio's love life? Damn. I don't know how much clear it has to be. Let it go. You maybe have passion for this person. This person, it, it may be. Hold on. It, it this it, this person may be good in the bedroom. But that's not what I'm getting here. This person is is free yourself from this relationship, because this person is sleeping with someone else. This person is allowing their heart and soul to sing with joy with somebody else other than you. They're stepping out on you. They're freeing themselves from you to be with somebody else and you don't even realize it. Okay, the universe is saying they're making an effort somewhere else. Look, look, look. That's what I'm saying. This this is energies I'm picking up on. For, look. 
earlier we got free yourself from the relationship this person is 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 leaving home being passionate with somebody else they tell you they're going to work hanging out with the friends hanging out with the girls or whatever but they're making an effort to be with somebody who they really care about. They're being deceptive, deceptive of you. They may care about you too, but they care about somebody else. They're stepping out on you with somebody else. They're making the effort to be with somebody else. It's like they're stepping... Look. This is them. Say, for instance, that maybe this is, is, is a window. They're looking out at the window at, at your house while they're living there with you or chilling with you. They're leaning out their window kissing somebody else. They're leaning out their window freaking somebody else and being deceptive all while doing it. They're freeing themselves from you, even if it's for a couple of hours, to go dip and dab in somebody else's uh, somebody else's coffee cream and lying to you about it. I'm going to step out with the boys. I'm going to go hang out with the girls. Whatever. They're stepping out on you. Okay? Okay? I don't know what to tell you, Scorpio. This card popped out here. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay? Just not with this person. Soulmate. Finances and career. The universe is wanting you to focus on you. Uh, and you'll meet your soulmate in, a, in, a, in, in the oddest place. You may meet this person around some kind of... You may meet this person at a bank. You may meet this person at work. But stay optimistic because what you're offering to the current partner you're with is just a waste of time. It's just a waste of time. I see attraction. People find you very, very attractive. You don't have to settle. Don't settle. You don't need to. I see pay attention to the red flags. Heart to heart conversations and unrequited love. You're going to have a communication with someone, probably a stranger. He's going to ask you what's on your mind. What are you thinking about? And you deserve love. This is what you're thinking about. You're going to be so focused on thinking about what you're going through that you're not going to see Mr. Wright or Miss Wright walk up to you. And y'all going to have a conversation. And you don't know that while you're sitting up here thinking about what you deserve and what you don't deserve by this person you're wasting your time with, Mr. Wright or Miss Wright going to walk up to you. And they're going to have some money in their pocket in the process. And not saying that money is everything, but they're going to be well assured. They're going to be well-educated, a business person doing the right thing, you're going to walk into your soulmate. They're going to find you very attractive. That's why they're going to talk to you, okay? And we have here, pay attention to the red flags. You're talking to this friend about, you're talking to this new person that you're kind of like, kind of attracted to, but then you have to think about paying attention to the red flags. This person flashy like this, you know, dressed up, nice looking, and what do they want to have to do with me? Because they're attracted to you. But you're paying attention to the red flags because of what this jackass who you won't leave, what they're doing to you. Okay? You're going to have some conversations with this person. Okay? Um, yeah, I'm with somebody, but it's complicated. Or, or you know, we're in, a, in, a, in the... In the we're uh, getting ready to separate or in the, in the process of trying to separate whatever it is you're going to do because this person you're with... Is unrequited love, and you're gonna tell him, I don't think that this is this is the person that I need to be with, but I'm trying to figure out a way to get away from them. And this is where the conversation is going to come in with your soulmate. This is how you're going to meet your soulmate. Like you're you're gonna meet your soulmate, Scorpio, when you least expect it. You're gonna meet your soulmate when you're thinking about how to get rid of your prime mate. Okay, you're gonna meet your soulmate because this person is codependent, an alcoholic, a drug user, uh, family abandonment issues narcissistic you're going to meet your soulmate when you're trying to figure out what to do with your current primate check out how it resonates okay gotta let it go got to let it go i have to love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive true love this could be the one hmm. yeah. romantic feelings and trust love yourself first Scorpio true love is about to step into your life true love is going to walk into your life when you're conflicted in your mind about the person who you need to who you need to get rid of okay they're gonna come and talk to you and you don't know it or not but this could be the one you all are going to have some beautiful feelings they're gonna have some feelings for you and you all are going to get to know each other on an, e on an emotional level first and you're gonna realize like damn I got feelings for this person and trust this situation is calling for you to have faith and express your love. 
When the time is right, you're going to express your love to them and they're going to express your love to, to, to them and vice versa because you all have found each other in a mist of your darkness, okay? I hope this message resonates with you. Leave the toxic person alone so the universe can send you your true love and they're coming for you. They're going to come to you, correct, Scorpio, but they're going to come to you in a point in time in your life where you least expect it but when you really, really need that support. They're going to be your balance being. They're going to be your support system. Let them help you. Okay?